Yo, what's good, YouTube? Oh, my cat jumped on the thing. She tweaking. Get down. So, listen. I'm finna do a, a mukbang story time on ragging. You feel me? Um, I got some food right here. I got some Italian food from this Italian place called Sergeant Peppers. Peppers or something like that. Um... So I put a poll on my Instagram to see like what story time. I was trying to think of like what kind of stories, like which ones I kind of wanted to tell. So I did two. I asked for some suggestions. I put a poll on my Instagram. Um, I'm going to put my Instagram link in the description. Make sure y'all follow me. Um, I put a poll on Instagram saying uh, what story time should I do? And I put um, taking bro girl or uh, dodging six cops. You know what I'm saying? And I waited all day until just now to to see what uh, which one won, and it was the Dodger Six Cops. I thought it was gonna be the other one, but it was the Dodger Six Cops. So that's what y'all want to hear. So that's what we gonna talk about. That's that's the story time I'm telling. So before we do anything, I just wanna unrag. You know, I got the gold silky on. You feel me? Pop in John Lennon in the back. You feel me? So we finna do this real quick. I was gonna eat in my car. But it's dark outside and my windows ain't tinted and I don't want nobody to see my fat ass eating this shit and talking to, you know what I'm saying, to nothing, you feel me? So we finna unrag real quick. It's a little something, something, you feel me? Um, and then we gonna get into this, this food because I'm hungry too. Earlier I looked up, man, I had got some 10 piece chicken nuggets from Burger King. Man, they had gave me 12. I was happy as fuck. But, ooh. It's a little, it's a little light on ragging. It's really nothing, really. I'm just chilling, you feel me? So, I got, um, I got some, I think this is potato salad. It's, um, this Italian place. I got a hot strong bow, strong bow, strong bully, something like that. It's a sandwich, like some Italian sandwich. And I got, um, some chicken wings, too. Mmm. These wings look good. Those wings look good. I'm about to get on now. And then I think this potato salad. Yeah, that's potato salad. That shit bright as hell. That's potato salad. And then this is the sandwich right here. Wrapped in this foil. You know it's good when it's wrapped in foil. You know the restaurant good when they come, when the food come like in a paper bag and they're stapled and shit? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, this is a hot strong bow. It's got like these Itali all these different Italian meats. It's like ham, turkey, cheese. They got peppers on it. It's a bunch of good shit. And I'm about to fuck this hoe up. For real. And get into the story. So, let me take a bite for y'all. Want to see that first bite, huh? <laughs> so, that hit. So, that's what's up. So, oh, and I got. Cherry lime made from Sonic. So, <clears throat> dodging six cops. And it's a true story too. I swear to God. So, this I want to say the year was like maybe like 2012, 2012, 2013, maybe around that time, right? This is the time where like I was a stoner when I smoke like heavy. But I don't smoke anymore. So, it's late at night, right? It's probably, I think it's a weekday, too. And it's me, Cameron, DT, and Kiami, right? Me and Kiami in the back seat, DT in the passenger seat, Cam driving. He had, like, a uh, a little Honda, a little blue Honda. And um, <laughs> we got some, it, it's fun to ride around and smoke. Everybody know that. So, in our city, it's, a, it's this haunted place, right, down north called Hummel Park. It's like a little haunted place and shit. People go down there like late at night like just to scare themselves. Like, you know, it's hella fun and shit, you know. So we went down there to ride and smoke and everything. So we smoking. We high as hell. 
It ain't no cars on the street the whole time we driving. So we down there. We went like deep into the park. There, um, it's the stairs there. You go down and you go back up. It's not like the same amount when you count them. But it's probably like one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning, and we in the car. We smoke, we hop by some, we high as hell. So you know when you high, especially when you young, and we wasn't like legal like that. You know what I'm saying? Still ain't here. Um, niggas get paranoid. Niggas get scared as hell. So we down there smoking. We leaving the park. We got the lights off because we trying to scare ourselves. You know what I'm saying? We got the lights off. We see a car coming. Niggas is like, I was like, who is that? Just turn your lights on. We turned them on. Um, they went by. And then they looked straight in the car. Our dumbasses, all four, looked at the car. It was a police. Man, he went. He kept going at first. So he was like, all right, cool. But we high as hell. So me and Kiami, we keep turning around trying to see, like, you know, what they finna do. Because it's late as hell at night. Like, niggas shouldn't even be over because the park closed at, like, early as hell. So they go by. I'm looking. And I see they break lights. I was like, oh, shit. And then they turned around. We trying to get up out of there. We smoking. We high. They flash the light. They make their lights bright like the thing that's like on their thing. And they shine the light at us. We wasn't trying to like speed because then if we start speeding, then we trying to like. They didn't put like the red and blue lights on though. They just put like that big flashlight. And like we ain't trying to like speed or seem like we trying to like go on the speed chase or something like that. So. We gone. We coming out, right? Just a park. You can you go straight. We turn because we was at Kiami house because he don't live far. We was over there. And then, so that's one cop right there. We go, we turn, right? And we coming down like, um, what's that area? The Florence area, like 30th. We coming down the Florence area, so we should go in straight. And then, as we was turning to like get coming to the Florence area, it was another cop coming like off the interstate. So I was like the second cop right there. So we going straight. We trying to go, go, go. Then we see the cop behind us. He got like a little distance on us. So we going on 30th and it's that Burger King right there. If, if you're from the city, you know what I'm talking about. So it's like a Burger King right there. So we bust that right because, oh, that's the way it was going to go anyway. But we bust that right. And there's a car coming this way, like towards us with the one behind us and the other one. We saw. So that was like the third one. So we go like this back street. We kind of hit the lights a little bit once we turn when they couldn't see us. So they could think like we turned off somewhere or something. We kept going. We up by McMillan. Now, you know when it's up there, um, when we got to the top, the street go like down. And then it goes like this. It goes like down and you can go straight. And then like from this side, it goes like that, you know. And then so when we coming down, it was a cop coming this way, coming down in front of us. That was like the fourth one right there. We went up to the top of the hill. We high as we so high. We so scared. We, me and Kami looking back, like, you know, making sure. Oh, I'm like, oh, damn, there go another one. There go another one. We seeing them. They coming. And they is not faking. And then, we, the whole time, though, we still smoking, though, like some dumbasses. We still high and everything. And then, um, as we hit that, that split street right there, and we went up. And then you go up the little hill, take that left to go to Kami house, right? So the one car had caught up because it was a stop sign. One cop had caught up. So when we took that left, the Kiami street go like this. It's like the top of the hill and it go down. But then it's a street like you could go and turn left. So it was another cop coming this way up that street. And then there was another one coming down as we was coming down. And then they was just like, you could tell they was about to like turn on their lights because the one behind us had turned behind us too. But then we pulled up right into Kiami driveway through that bitch and parked, from, from, hopped out. Car was smoky as shit. But they didn't pull us up. They pulled Cam over like once he left, but it wasn't no weed in the car. They was like, it smells like weed, but it wasn't no weed in the car, so they couldn't do nothing. And that shit was crazy because we was scared. We was already scared because we was like high. We was paranoid. We at home apart for the grip. We down there for a minute just smoking. We smoked like four blunts. Just down there chilling, smoking, lights off, scaring each other. We in this little ass Honda. Like, that shit was crazy. Kiami like 6'2 in the back seat. Like, Tall ass nigga. That shit was scary as hell. And then, as soon as we got to this nigga house, 
we peeking out the window, me, him, and DT, or he's trying to peek out the window. You know, we nosy as hell, like, we so fucking obvious. We're looking out the window. It was like, the two of them was like sitting, like, this know how they be sitting, talking to each other. They was something like that in front of the county house. That shit was crazy. We thought it was finna get pulled over. We were scared. That shit was like a movie or something, like, when we seen that first cop car and, they, and he, like, went past us and he looked, and when he when he shot his light, I'm pretty sure you can see like how foggy it was in the car because we was hotboxing, and I'm pretty sure he knew what the fuck was going on. I'm pretty sure it was a weekday, like niggas. It was like one o'clock in the morning, like park closed at like eleven or something or ten, something like that. I don't even know. I hadn't been down there in a long time. Let's go down there all the time. And I thought them cops was gonna come get us, man. I thought they had us too, cause my nigga didn't he didn't run no no stop signs. This is like late at night, so the lights is blinking. Most of the yellow ones this we hitting, so he good. We he didn't run no stop signs. He didn't break the speed limit or nothing. So they really couldn't pull us over for really anything. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm not a cop though, but that shit was crazy because I thought they was gonna get us. And then bro called me and was like, "Yeah, man." They pulled me over as soon as I got up the street. Well, one of them pulled him over as soon as I got to the top of the street. That was six cars. You, they was all coming for us. In our opinion, obviously we hide shit, but they all turn. As soon as we turn, like they following us, you know what I mean? They trying to like, they know the area I'm pretty sure well. So that's why it was coming from like all these different sides that you can come from, you know? Something else might've been happening in the area. Cause that was a, um, was a lot of cop cars in a, in a short amount of time. I hope this potato salad good. I don't really like potato salad like that. I fuck with this though. It got a big ass chunk of potato. Mm. Mm. You know what? Since that story was short, I'm just go ahead and do the other one, the taking bro girl story while I'm eating. Look, that shit was crazy. I didn't really take my bro girl though. Definitely, it wasn't even his girl, so. It was just a friend of ours that everybody liked. You know what I'm saying? So, it's my 18th birthday, right? And um, we drunk. And we had, you know, we drinking. So, I'm with, hold on, I'm gonna show you something real quick. This is fat, but look, just look the, I learned how to do this on YouTube. Watch this. Hold on. Come on, man. Come on, man. How's your boy? I don't got no napkins. But I use some tissue. But so it's my 18th birthday, right? It's me. I don't know if I should disclose the girls' names. People probably know what I'm talking about anyway. So I ain't gonna disclose their names, though. If you know, you know. So it's me. I'll just say my homie's name. It's me, DT, Marlon. We at the homegirl house. She was her best friend that everybody liked, you know what I'm saying? Everybody. My bro was always trying to get on with her, but it wasn't nothing because, like, you know, it's whatever. But, so, we, um, we, um, we chilling. You know, we drink. I was looking good. I just turned 18. Bought my first, uh, legal swishers that day, you know what I'm saying? Because we was high, too. And then, um, so we chilling, we chilling, we drinking, you know, this is the time, we 18, we hanging out with females, you know, you know what niggas be trying to do, like, come on, you know what niggas be trying to do, so, we all chilling, man, we trying to set the mood, I'm out here with my bro, his cousin, his cousin by marriage or whatever, so I'm out there with her and shit, you know what I'm saying, we, we the only ones out here, and then my homie Marley, he in there with, with the girl who house it was, they like, doing they thing and stuff and uh my bro in there with the other girl right now we didn't hang out with these girls we hang out with these girls all the time like we always over there chilling her mom love me like smoking all that shit so um i'm out here with the cousin right and we was kissing and shit you know you know we 18 we we was drinking like some smear and i don't even i don't even drink vodka like that <laughs> I don't even drink vodka like that no more, but we was drinking some smearing off. I think it was like some berry. I even got pictures from this day. We was, it was like some berry smearing off, right? So then 
we uh, I'm out there with the homie, with, with the cousin, right? And we was out there kissing this shit, right? This is the only reason that I went into the room. So, we kissing, right? I'm gonna wait till I get on two so I can show y'all. Crazy. So, we kissing, right? She drunk too, right? Now, she trying to be like freaky with me, right? She trying to do some freaky shit, like some new shit, right? And she's like started sucking on my tongue. And like she ripped this. She was like sucking in it, like rip. I was like, fuck. That shit started bleeding. I was like, fuck. I tried to take a shot. That shit, I don't know why I tried to. That shit was burning. And then she felt bad. So then I just went out. But I, see, this is how where this is kind of something like, oh, you took the nigga. No, I didn't. This is exactly how it happened. Swear to God. So, let me pause this video. So, um,. <clears throat> I'm not going to do I don't know what's going on because I know everybody. It's three dudes and three girls, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't know what's going on. I hear talking because I have went to the bathroom. So, that's why on my way back, I just knocked on the door just to be safe. And it was like, come in. So, I came in and I seen, like, bro. I seen my bro and uh, the best friend on the floor. And then I seen my other homie who house and the girl who house it was over there. They was, that shit was scary. I don't know what the fuck was going on over there. So, then, um, I, I peeked in, and they was, they, my bro and the, uh, the best friend was sitting on the floor, they was talking. I was like, oh, my bad, I didn't mean to interrupt nothing. Uh, I'm about to leave the room. It was, she was like, no, come in, it's okay. I was like, all right, cool. So I'm just sitting there, I'm drunk. I'm listening to them talking shit, and then they weren't talking about like nothing like that. They were just talking about stuff, you know. And then uh, I was like, I started talking about like just real shit, like just real life shit, you know. And then this is where shit like went south because like i'm just talking man and then she goes like this she goes you know, she look at me because i'm here you know i'm handsome and she, take the glasses off. she goes like this she goes um hey Dewan, um can i talk to you for a second i'm like yeah that's cool like i don't what's up she's like no in in, a, in the bathroom real quick i'm like all right so i i swear to god I, i'm not even thinking nothing of it like that what was about to happen was about to happen on the 18th birthday. So, so then we go to the bathroom, man. I was sitting on the she had sat down on the um the toilet, and I'm sitting like on the uh, sink, just like leaning on the sink and shit. I'm feeling myself. I'm in the mirror. I turned around. I'm in the mirror, like ooh ooh, smooth ass baby face. None of this. I had a afro. I had like a juice cut and everything. I'm in the mirror, I'm feeling myself. She said so she started giggling. She's a little goofy little girl, right? Just cute and shit, right? So and I say like it was bro girl, cause he took her on a date before, like a long time ago. Just like a friendly date though. He bought like a ring and shit. Like <laughs> just a little friendly shit. Like, but I never was like trying to like approach her like in that way or nothing, right? So we go to the bathroom. We in the bathroom whatever we sitting. So she started telling me, like, you're so cute. And happy birthday and all this shit. I'm just like, thank y'all. I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? You pretty, you know, this and that. You feel me? Just razzle dazzling. You know what I'm saying? So then, um, um, she was like, um, she was all like shy and shit. And then she was like, um, do you have a condom? And I was like, in my head, I'm like, oh, hell yeah. Not hell yeah, I got a condom. Like, hell yeah, I'm about to smash. Like, cause she, she, she was fine. Like, everybody liked her. Like, it's crazy. So, um, she, she was like, do you have a condom? And I was like, nah. It was funny that she asked me that because, like, me, Cameron, DT, like, all my homies, like, niggas wasn't really getting on like that. Some, some more than others, but, like, we was, we, we was having magnums and shit. Can't nobody wear this. Nobody's getting no girls like that. And we just stayed with magnums on us for no fucking reason. So, I'm like, no, I don't even got one. And she was like, uh... She told me to ask me Marlon. She was like, ask Marlon for a car. I was like, he don't, he don't got one. You know what I'm saying? And then she was just like, ask DT. Never mind. Don't ask DT if he had a car. I'm like, damn. So I'm like, fuck, I don't got no. We ain't finna do this thing. I'm kind of hurt, but I'm not really tripping. You know what I'm saying? But, man. I think she said something like, will you just pull out or something? I think she said something like that. I'm like, yeah, man. I took off my red ape shirt, man. No, actually, I had it on. I think I was fully dressed. 
and I was fully dressed. I think I pulled my meat out of my shit. Like, <laughs> I think I put took my pants off though, and I pulled my meat out of my drawers. But damn, I was hitting it though. Then this is where it's a plot twist. So I'm. You know, all up in it. So, so then we oh, I just, oh, pop, 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 on the cheeks. You know what I'm saying? I get a little smack, pull my shit up. You know what I'm saying? Sit on the way. So she leave the room. She leave the bathroom. Lip her back, hurting shit. Cause I just killed it. So then I'm in the mirror, like oh, I'm pulling my my stuff back on, and then like I think I nutted her up a little bit though. So then I pull my stuff back on. And I'm tucking my shirt in, my white shirt under my collar shirt. I'm like. But this red shit, like this, I don't do them uh, time of the month things, you know? What is that? I, t I try to make all the excuses. I was young and I was like, I was so scared to like have raw sex, man, because I didn't want like no diseases, no kids, like, you know what I'm saying? So I was like dummy skeptical. So I'm just like, what's this? What's this red shit? Man, I try to play it off because I'm drunk. I'm like, that shit ain't red. That's that probably been, been there. I'm trying to, I was like, I probably scratched my, my stomach and it was bleeding or something. I'm trying to make all the excuses, man. So damn, boy, um, the homie, he was real heated with me because I know he heard me smacking in the bathroom because like everybody else, the cousin, she already sleep by now. Homie, I don't know what they was in the room doing still in my bro. Like he was kind of like hurt. I heard the nigga was like walking up and down the hundred and all morning listening to music. Like it's crazy because I didn't know it was like that. You know what I'm saying? Like I never tried to like take her or nothing. It just happened. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's the charm, the smile, the 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 funniness. Like I don't know, it's something. But so I'm texting her right, and then I'm like, "Yo, I have some red stuff on my shirt." First, she was telling like she feels sick. Like she, I'm like, "Oh, bitch, don't try to hit me with the pregnant scare with the pregnant shit. Like don't do that, no sir." You feel me? But then like I brought up the red shit on my shirt. She was like, "I'm gonna have to tell some." I'm like, "Tell me what?" I'm, at this point, I'm already. About to call my little sister, like, yo, I got you to be somebody else for me, real quick. You know what I'm saying? Come to find out, swipe the V card, fam. I ain't even know, bro. I hit a V on my 18th birthday. Ain't that amazing? That is amazing. And I was chose. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy, though. But it's crazy, man. I, I know my homie was feeling a little, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know, man. Put in the comments if y'all think that was messed up or not. If y'all think that was fucked up, man, put that in the comments. Let me know what y'all think, man, because I wasn't I wasn't trying to be like that if that's how it came across, you know what I'm saying? Never. But <clears throat> it just happened. Crazy story. So the girl who I beat up first time, you know, um, like I said, like everybody liked her. Then recently... Y'all together and started dating, you feel me? Like, <laughs> I doubt now people definitely know who. I just threw her business out there. But it's cool, though, man. It's cool because, like, there's nothing wrong with any of this that I'm telling y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's life. It happens. People do worse. Ain't nothing really wrong or bad about it. You know what I'm saying? But it's crazy, like, how stuff like that happened. How, like, we we did that on my 18th birthday. And then we, we did it a few more times after that, like, as life progressed, as we got older and shit. And then, like, just a couple years ago started dating and shit and that's crazy that's crazy how life happens i never would have thought that we would be together you know what i'm saying and that's crazy not that happened you know but it's crazy man so that's my story time i know i didn't really eat like that man but it's hard to eat and talk man but it's crazy how that happened man that's life for you i mean no i want to do another story time and i want y'all to tell me what type of story y'all want to hear? Because I got thousands. I done got thousands of stories. I'm, all my videos, keep everything real. Uh, I ain't cutting nothing. Mainly because I record this on my phone. And I don't got a computer or none of that shit. I ain't cutting shit. I'm giving 100% facts. Real everything. Raw everything. Just crazy. No pun intended because I said raw everything. <laughs> no, <laughs> you hear me? And I'm rapping. I'm going to drop a freestyle every week. Every what's today? Tuesday. Today Tuesday. Every Thursday I'm dropping the I'm dropping the freestyle every week. Every Thursday. So stay tuned for that. Hit me up, you know what I'm saying? Next time. If y'all in the city, shout out to Sergeant Peppers. It's like on Saddle Creek, you know what I'm saying? 
by that quick trip and shit, that little go over there, get y'all some food. They food is bomb as hell. No, they don't sponsor this video. I'm just shouting them out because it's delish. But I'm finna go ahead, finish this food, watch my little show. I'm gonna catch y'all next time, man. I'm out. Hey, you know what it is. Old tight, my brother.